Hey guys, this is Ray Borgia at RayBorgia.com. Welcome to my live feed, um, live Facebook feed. Um, today I wanted to show you how to set up the T20R, uh, assemble it together. So basically, when you get your T20R, uh, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, five pieces, and you're gonna have five pieces of unit like I guess big portion and you're gonna have two for six star nubs two wing nut and a flash rod which is right here okay so um, the first thing we need to do is install the base plate so right now we're just gonna put everything aside right over here in this corner okay and then the wing nuts right here I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put that here and pull this guy right here closer where you can see it right there so I'm gonna take this okay um, you'll notice that on your T20 the old version has two bolts right here but the new version I added another hole up here so that there's actually three bolt three bolt that comes in it's a little bit more secure um, I mean, this is secure just the way it is now, but I wanted to, you know, make it more secure. So I added an extra bolt right here on this location. So there's one almost like a triangular, triangular shape. And what I've also done is I've made all of my base plate because I have four different shapes, different style of base plates, and I wanted it to be interchangeable with whichever stand uh, you purchase from us so in a nutshell you could have the T11 2.5 and still utilize this kind of base plate uh, well that's the new design I wanted it to be interchangeable so anyways we're gonna go ahead and put this on the base plate and we're just gonna match the hole as you can see if you can see it from there I'm just gonna drop it right here and then I'm gonna take this two wing nut right here and I'm gonna secure it. Okay? So now that's one wing nut. And just spin it. So that's pretty secure. As you can see, it won't move at all. See? Yeah. Very secure, okay guys? I'm going to have this portion facing out because that's where the cable is going to be coming out the next one is the second the upper portion of the the stand which looks like this it's hollow here and there's got a little uh, lip on the other side now this can go either way but there's a hole up here and if you have a printer that you're attaching in here like the printer uh, printer shelf this is the hole that you're going to be utilizing to run that cable out so it's got a nice clean look um, but if you're utilizing a different printer stand you're likely to run the cable all the way down and then pull it out from the very bottom uh, cable hole so anyways we're going to go ahead and put this right here and as you see it just slides in there and what we're going to do is we're going to take this two small knobs, small star knob, and we're gonna secure it. Now make sure that it's lined up, okay? So when you put it on, you just spin one. You can spin it all the way, but don't tighten it up. So you have plenty of room to secure it. The reason why I don't want you to tighten it up is because I want you to make sure that this lines up securely and then you can tighten it up and then make sure it's tight so now it won't move you see I'm trying to move it so it's good okay the next one is this u-shape yoke you'll notice that on the old one it has a hole right here uh, we use this hole to, you know, for a, a spring-loaded uh, mechanism to adjust the tilt. 
the problem with that is you only you're only getting like maybe three or four degrees and a lot of people have said hey there's got to be a way where i can tilt it a little further down uh, or a little further up um yeah there is a way and we figured out that by replacing the plastic with a rubber uh it, it basically solves the problem i mean it was pretty pretty simple and uh, all these years we've never really thought about it until now so anyways moving along i'm gonna go ahead and put this right over here okay before it used to matter where this hole is going to be not anymore so with this we're gonna go ahead and take the smaller uh, star nubs which is this you had four of them and we're gonna secure it this is the last two and we're gonna secure this So now it's pretty set there secure right that's pretty cool okay the next one we're gonna put the bezel I mean the head shell on top of this bezel right here okay okay as I said we're gonna go ahead and put the upper portion the head shell on top of this yoke now you're gonna have a flash rod this flash rod right here this is where your strobe flash goes in which I'll show you in the next video but for now, um, well, this T20R doesn't have the diffuser right now. We're supposed to install it, but I basically just pulled this from the stock and I wanted to do a quick video on how to put everything together. So, but when you get your T20R, it'll have a flash diffuser on it, like an acrylic on it, okay? Now, you have this flash rod still loose. Where this goes above your T20R, I don't know if you can see it right there you're basically just twisting it right there okay your strobe flash will go in here will slide in but first we're gonna go ahead and put the large star nubs on the large star nubs you're gonna notice that it looks like this back in the day it used to be plastic now it's rubber what you're gonna do is you're gonna extend it all the way up here so it looks like that you're just gonna leave a little bit of portion in here and a little bit of portion in here and then you're gonna mount it right here and then the other one on the other side okay once you got that down you're gonna lift it and you're gonna put it in here Back in the days, it was really hard for you to lift it because of this tilt mechanism right here that's always in the way. So when you're actually putting it into the bezel, this thing gets in the way. Now you don't have that issue. So now you're just tightening it up right now. And you just keep tightening it until you feel that pressure. So I feel that pressure right here on the left side. Now I'm going to do the right side. So the better the pressure is, the better for you, the, actually the stronger the grip would be. So right now, I'm gonna loosen up this pressure and I'm gonna show you how it tilts. As you can see, it just tilts like that. And then I'm gonna tighten up this knob and it just stays there. You see how easily that thing tilts? You no longer have to worry about the degree. By loosening it up a little bit again, a small, just a slight loose, you can tilt this up this way and then tighten it up again and then you got that degrees to capture the taller audience all right so that's basically how t20r works okay uh on the next video i'm going to show you how to put the flash rod above it you know basically just uh, the equipment will walk you through that okay all right guys um right now what I did was I grabbed my Alien B 400, which is a strobe uh, flash, and the cover. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy in here together. Uh, if you don't know how to put the cover to the Alien B, you're basically squeezing this, and then it's pretty secured right there. Now on your Alien B, this is how it looks like. You have this, 
right here, if you tighten this up right here, it's gonna squeeze that rod above it and secure it. Right here, you're gonna have to twist this. You're gonna have to loosen this up a little bit. Match it to this hole right here. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this is where your umbrella is gonna go through when you put your umbrella, your beauty dish. Right here, if you loosen this up, you're able to adjust this angle, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to attach this strobe on top of that flash rod. First thing I need to do is loosen this up, make sure it's clear that there's nothing around it, okay? I'm gonna go behind my uh, T20R and put it there and I'm gonna tighten it up. I'm also gonna tilt the angle like that and that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. I mean, you're gonna have a cord coming out here shooting to this hole which runs through your uh, through your camera, but that's uh, that's pretty basic. What else? I suppose we can go through the other stuff in the next video.